Welcome to tonight's lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to be revising how we can sketch the graphs of exponential functions. And then in the next session that we're going to have, we'll look at how we can sketch the graphs of logarithms and graphs of uh, uh, lean functions. And then apart from that, we we'll also have to discuss how we can simplify certain, um, uh, certain log uh, equations, yeah. And then in the next session again, I think I'm going to add a session where we're going to be solving uh, logarithmic um, simultaneous equations. All right, so let's quickly begin. So if you have any questions or you want to join tuitions or you want to ask any question about anything or any science, feel free to contact me on the lines on the screen. Okay, so let's quickly begin. Yeah, so the first question says, sketch the graph of each of the following functions. So how do we sketch the graphs of these functions? These are simple and straightforward. Yeah, so it's not, um, I mean, this topic is not something that we're going to spend most uh, or a lot of minutes doing it. It's a very simple topic that we're going to finish just within a few um, minutes. Okay, so sketching graphs of these functions is very simple. So I'm going to be using white so that everyone can see. All right, so uh, the first question is f of x is equal to five to the power x. So we have f of x being equal to five to the power x. Then how do we sketch this uh, function? Or how do we sketch the graph of this function? So this is a very simple function. So I'm going to show you the simplest method that you can use. So if you have anything this side, let's say you have A or let me use B. This one is uh, this part that you have here. It can either be a minus there, meaning the, the whole part becomes negative. So let me write it like this. So you may have something like, um, let me say plus or minus. B. So what you have here is called the horizontal as um, yeah the horizontal asymptote. So whatever that you have here is called the horizontal asymptote. And in case you don't know the asymptote or what the asymptote means, an asymptote is simply just a line such that if you draw a curve, um, let me take for instance if I draw this curve like this, if I have this curve. This line and this line will not meet. So, okay, let me de define it in this way. If you have a curve like this, and then you have um, a line, or yeah, you can have a line, this one here, this one is a vertical asymptote to this curve, or if this line is, is called or is to be the vertical asymptote to this line, uh, to the curve, it means that this line, no matter how close this curve uh, gets to be to this line, the curve will not have to meet um, this line. Yeah, so if you have this line as an asymptote to this curve, it means that this line and this curve will not meet, no matter how close uh, this curve tends to become uh, towards this line, it will not, uh, or it's not supposed to meet this line. Yeah, it will be going closer to the line, but they will never meet. So this is what we are calling the asymptote. So if, so if you don't have anything there, it means that the asymptote, the horizontal asymptote is simply just y is equal to what? Zero, which is the x-axis, because we know that in the x-axis, the value of y is equal to zero. So if we have zero here, because we don't have anything, it means that the horizontal asymptote is equal to zero. So we say y is equal to zero. That's how our horizontal asymptote. So let us see how we can sketch the graph of this uh, curve. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, uh, sketch the graph. So the first thing that I'm going to draw is the table of values. So here I'm going to put my x. This side I'm going to put my f of x. So if I have if I take, for instance, x, so I'm going to use 
I'm going to be using two numbers to, um, I'm going to be using two numbers to put in the, or to insert in the, I mean, I mean in the domain or in the, I mean, as values of X. So the first number that I'm going to use is zero because when I put zero at this X there, any number to the power zero is always equal to what? One. So five to the power zero gives us one. So we can put one there. And then the other, the other number that I can put there, the simplest number that will help me to sketch is what is one itself. So if I put one there, the answer that I'm going to get is what is five because five to the power one gives us what? Five. So these are the two numbers that I have. I mean, these are the two sets of coordinates that I have. So these are just there to show me the direction of the curve. So sketching this is simple. I'm going to write my X, Y plane. So this is my center. Oh, this is X axis, sorry. Then we have Y axis there. And then we can uh, uh, write, or we can draw the, the horizontal asymptote. So I'm going to use a color that you'll be able to see. Let me use red. Okay, so the horizontal asymptote here, we said it's y is equal to zero. So y is equal to zero is simply just the x axis. So this is the horizontal asymptote. I can draw it either in dotted line or uh, in a board line. So this is our horizontal asymptote. It means that this curve is not going to meet this line, no matter how close it gets to this line. So we can now put in the, the values. So we have 0, 0,1. So I can now put in my 0, 0,1. Let me start uh, putting in the coordinates. So I have 0, 0,1 there. So I'll put my 0, 0,1 there. So this is our first coordinate. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I have 1,5. So the other coordinate I have is uh, 1, comma what? Comma 5. So this is my 5 there. So this tells me, it shows me that the line or the curve is going to move like this. So this is how the curve is going to come out. So this is how you sketch. So it's as simple as drinking water. It's very simple. Do we have any questions before I can proceed to the next question, to this one here? Okay, so I'm sure this is simple. We move on to the next one. Okay, so the next question is f, is f of x is equal to five to the power x minus four. So five to the power x minus four is, the other question. So now, how do I deal with this question? This question, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to negative four. So what this means is that this curve is not going to meet this line here, which is y is equal to negative four. And then the other thing that we need to consider here, or the other thing that we need to do is to draw the table of values. So, if I put my X axis there, my F of X will be there. Then, yeah, then, so if I put my X there, F of X will be there. And then let me put um, this, the smallest values that I can use here. So the first value I can use is what? Um, I have, if I put um, zero at this X there, I'm going to get five to the power zero minus four. So five to the power zero gives me what? One, one minus four, this will give me uh, negative three. So I'm going to have negative three there. And then I'll also put zero while there is X, uh, not zero, I'm going to put one. If I put one there, I'm going to have five to the power one minus four. So five to the power one is five, five minus four, the answer is what? It's one. So I have one as one of my solutions there. So this, these uh, coordinates I'm finding here, they are just there to show me the direction of the curve. Remember the question is asking us to sketch. So sketching is different from drawing. If they tell you to draw, then you have to use the, 
the, the graph paper where you need to draw the exact thing. But if they tell you to sketch, you just need to use a few points to, uh, to write out the solution of that question. So I'm going to draw my X or Y plane. Then I'll put in the coordinates. So first of all, let me put my, uh, uh, my horizontal uh, asymptote. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. So negative four, negative two, negative three, negative two, and negative one there. So the center will be there. Okay, so from there, the next thing that we do is to show or to draw the asymptote. So the asymptote is at negative what? Negative four. So I've drawn the asymptote there. And then the next thing that I have to do is to sketch. Uh, and when I'm sketching, I have to consider these two coordinates so that I know where the graph is going to be. So the first coordinate I have is zero comma negative three. So I have zero comma negative three, which is going to be there. Then the other coordinate that I'm going to have is one comma one. So one comma one is going to be somewhere. So if I have my one there and another one there, so one comma one will be somewhere there. So this tells me that the curve is going to be like this. So it's as simple as this. So sometimes they can ask you to find the, the what is the, they can ask you to find the domain and the range. So the domain of exponential functions is mostly if there is no condition, if there's just X there, um, you can plug in any value of X there. So it can come from negative infinity to positive infinity. That's how you find the domain. And then the range is going to start from uh, the, the horizontal asymptote. So if the horizontal asymptote is ne negative four, like in this case, the range is going to, so this one is the domain, the range is going to start from uh, negative four, we're not going to use the closed bracket symbol here because we are not going, we're not supposed to add negative four. It's not part of our set. So it's going to start from negative four to what? To positive infinity. That is the range. So it's as simple as that. We quickly move on to the next one, which is this other part. So this one is also simple. We do the same thing. So we have H of X being equal to, uh, 5x minus 3. So this one is also simple. The first thing that we need to consider is to find the uh, horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is simply just y is equal to 0 because we don't have anything this side. And then we can uh, now uh, use the table of values. So we have the table of values there. Then we can start plugging in the values of x. So the first value of x that I'm going to test this with is. Uh, uh, positive three. Why am I using positive three? Because I know that if I put positive three there, uh, I'm going to get a zero there. Or if you want to find the, these values, you can just get what you have as the power there. You can say x plus, oh, we have x minus three. So we have x minus three as the power. So you can say x minus three, you equate it to zero. When you equate it to zero, you find the first value of x to be what? Uh, positive three. So you can put positive three there so that when you uh, put three there to be three minus three, and then you get a zero. So five to the power zero, this will give you one. And then the next part, you can also equate the, the power there, x minus three to one. Then take this to the other side of the equal sign. You're going to have x uh, being equal to what? Uh, one plus three. So the value of x becomes what? Four. So this is uh, the simplest way you can do that. And then if this, this implies that if you put four where there's X, you're going to have five to the power four minus three, and this will be five to the power one. So um, if we put four there, it means that uh, the value of F of X, I mean, H of X here, not F of X, H of X is going to be what? Five, because this will be four minus three, and this would be one, five to the power one will give us what? Five. So we can now start sketching. So the first thing we do when we start sketching, you draw the X or Y plane. And after drawing the X or Y plane, you put the horizontal asymptote. 
So we put the up the, we draw the XY plane there. Okay, so we do the same. Yeah, so I was just responding to something. Let me just, uh, okay, let's continue. All right, so we do the same. Okay. All right, so what we do here is, um, Yeah, so what we do here is we now uh, draw the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is simply just, uh, so the horizontal asymptote is simply just y is equal to zero, which is just the x-axis. Then sketching the curve of this, uh, of this uh, function, um, we plug in the value. So we have three comma one, we have one, two, three comma one, then we have 4,5. 4,5, so our fourth uh, number will be there. Then comma five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put our five there. So we can have this point somewhere there. So now we can sketch this. Make sure that it doesn't uh, touch the horizontal asymptote. So we have three comma one, which is somewhere there. So it will be something to look like this. Okay, so it's as simple as this. Let's quickly proceed to the next question. Okay, the next question is also simple. Let me 